Fulani heard of Dominate Kogi first, and there is peace there. Miyeti Anla, welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification button. Mr. Ngazama said ethnic Fulanis have wrongly been wrongly labeled as criminals due to security challenges in the country. Are you for real? Is this what these people will say about the killings happening? The most recent being the one that happened in Kug in, in Benue State where three people were murdered in broad daylight. One was shot and the other was macheted. What exactly is going on? Is this what they are actually going to say? Hey, so then as well, everybody should defend their own, isn't, isn't it? it? That means even if their people are being, are being killed anyway, we should come out and say, no, our people dominate Nigeria. Yes, now, the Southwest that these bandits and Fulani headsmen is also traveling should also come out and say, oh, no, we, we, are, we are not sure it is our people, though. They are wrongly labeled. And the Southeasterners themselves should come out and say the same. What is going on? Instead of finding a solution to this problem or owning up to whatever these people have done, you are here saying what's with what I think is there's a plan to make Nigeria break up. You see the main people who are causing disunity in Nigeria, they are these people. They will come and preach Nigeria must stay together. And then they use they use they use another means to say that they want Nigeria to be distinguished. How will you say this? They have been falsely labeled. Eh? So those people that have been complaining that the people have been killed or the killings going on, they want to tell us that they are, it was ghosts. It was those Fulani ghosts and not the Fulani themselves. The news in details, let's find out more. Baba Ngelzema, the National Secretary of Meyeti Anla Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, on Sunday said herders are not as violent as widely believed around Nigeria. Speaking to reporters during the group's conference in Abuja, Mr. Ngelzema said ethnic Fulanese have been wrongly labeled as criminals due to security challenges in the country. To drive home his argument, the Meyeti Anla leader said Fulani chased away from the Southeast now dominates Kogi first, yet the state has remained one of the most peaceful in the country. So this goes to show that not all Fulani are criminals. Therefore, profiling the entire Fulani ethnic group as criminals because of the criminal activities of a few is injustice, he said. According to him, pastoralists are not spared by bandits and terrorists as they are also attacked and the livestock rustled. The Emir of Kano, Aminu Bayeru, who is one of the group's patrons, urged the government to work out strategies towards addressing the challenges of bedvailing pastoralists in the country. Represented by Aminu Sadiq, the Zanan Kano, the Emir, said, If we don't voice out our own problems, how will the world know our challenges? The meeting was attended by the representative of the Sultan of Sokoto, leaders and members of the association across the country. Is that it? One would even think they will come out and speak something recently about the mod the, the modras. Like look at what they just came out to say. Or maybe they, they, they didn't give us full gist. Because I think on Saturday or Friday in Benue State, an attack happened. Two men and a woman. They said two of them were shot. What the, the one person they didn't tell us who and who was shot, they just said three people, two years, two were shot, were killed by guns. Then the other one was macheted like how. And you know, we are not even saying there is no how we are going to say the whole Fulani, but because you have refused to own up to them, you have refused to say, Oh, this is what will be done to them. We are going to find out you have never come out to say, Okay, we have heard you. This and this and this you said will find out the killers. No, this is what this, this is what they come out to say. They always come out to say, Oh, it is not all of them, that it is wrong to say all of them. Are. Okay, the ones that not commit the crime, what are you going to do about them? What are you going to do about them? These people are the ones blowing the steam of discord, whether you like it or not. They will come out and say, Oh, it is not our people, it is not the whole. Then the ones that not commit it. 
what are you saying will happen to them? That is the bone of contention. Fine. Look, in every ethnic group in Nigeria, there is the good, there is the bad, there is the ugly. What exactly are you saying will happen to the bad ones and the ugly ones in your midst? Bieti just told us Kogi has been conquered, dominated. Shame on Yaya Bello for selling out his people because he's running for president and need this terrorist protection. Like... I'm even finding it hard to believe. This same Kogi state was in the news some months back. I think two months ago, towards the end of the year. This Kogi state was in the news. Why? They said, herders have overtaken their, most of their lands that they can no longer go to farm. In fact, there was farming, there was farmers and herders clash where farmers were the ones being killed. They said these people raped their women they said they take over their farm. And even then, one certain commissioner came out, one ex-commissioner came out, former commissioner, I think that commissioner was a commissioner in Kogi state. He came out and he said, do you know what? Kogi people, start defending yourself. And immediately he made that statement of start defending yourself, that people should start defending themselves. He was invited by the DSS. He even came out and said, see you, my friend that they, that they invited, he died after he came back from, you know. He's not saying that was what killed him, but he was like, he's letting the world know. And these people are coming out to say what exactly? Huh. Okay. Let them remain there simple. What are they going to the East to do? Look, I even find it very difficult to believe that in this time where things are going digital, some group of people have just refused to find a more way and a convenient way for doing the business. If this thing is causing problem, you are saying eh, your your people they rustle their cattle. How is that supposed to be our problem? Yes, how is that supposed to be our problem? We have not even talked about the people who die on a daily basis that this terrorists kill. We have not talked talked about it at all. So coming to say they rustle your people's cattle, your people does not even stay in a place. They don't stay one place. Can they stay one place where they are going to be safe? Yes, now. If you are going to come out and say, eh, they are doing this to you, can't they stay in a place or at a place? You have refused to find means of ensuring that you don't inconvenience people. See, the truth about this is there are people who do this um, herders business and they are not full any people. They don't go from place to place. They are making their money. So unless you want to tell me now that there is something that you people are not telling us, this cannot happen and you turn the blind eye or deaf ear. And you always come out to complain that saying, they are saying all your people. How is that supposed to be the bone of contention? Have you, have you even come out to say, oh, this people that this, this thing, no, we don't support it too, you are against it too. No. All you come out is try to defend these people. You are teaching Nigerians too. Nigerians, they learn fast. The caliber of Nigerians present now are not the caliber you used to know. <laughs> you are blowing the wind of discord. It will fall on everybody, unfortunately. On this note, we've come, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.